Tell me, just tell me how you, instead of like telling me about the story, tell me how yeah. you got the idea to, to report. I was meeting with a woman who works as an aide on the Hill, and she was saying she was sort of surprised to see that there were no articles or conversations happening about sexual harassment on political campaigns. And then I had a meeting three weeks after that with two separate women who worked on campaigns and they said the same thing without me even mentioning it to them. And I was like, okay, this is definitely a thing. You know, if somebody hadn't read your article, just the state of political campaigns, why it's sort of a ripe ground for sexual misconduct. People liken it to startups, which I think is interesting, but it's totally different from startups in that there are like no rules. There's a lot of young people working together in really close quarters. You're working like 18 hours a day. You're staying in hotels with your coworkers, um, and there are often a ton of events with alcohol. Can you talk about sort of the range of stories that you've heard? There's everything from emotional and verbal abuse to people making inappropriate comments to the staffers about their bodies when they are not around, to uh, volunteers who work with the campaign but not in a formal capacity, exposing themselves to young women who work on the campaign. Do you feel like this is the tip of the iceberg yeah. and as we head into 2018 midterm? I think today is 266 days out from the midterm election. There are countless campaigns at every level that are staffing up. These environments on political campaigns are ripe for harassment and misconduct of all forms. And that's something that they'll be forced to confront through the election and beyond. It's really hard to come forward. It's asking a lot of people to come forward and put their lives out there and talk about these really intimate, uncomfortable situations that they are in. But the goal in having conversations like this about any industry is that we don't wait so long until we're addressing the issues. We face it head on and talk about it as it's happening. And I think this is the year we will see this Me Too movement coming for political campaigns.